Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. Last week I showed you how you can make pom-pom fridge magnets. And I thought I'd stay in the theme and do another pom-pom craft today. I keep seeing these amazing pom-pom baskets in my Instagram and Pinterest feeds. And I would really like one for myself and I thought it might be a nice craft for you guys as well. So today I'm going to show you how you can make your own pom-pom basket. So you need a plain basket. Uh, I have this one and I store my blankets in it. And I'm going to just attach a few pom-poms here. Maybe three or four, see what goes nice. And I'm using different colors as well. Last week I showed you how I make pom-poms using a fork. Today we're going to use the cardboard method. You need a plain piece of cardboard. It can be a cereal box or an old envelope. And you need a round shape to trace. Uh, I like using balls for this. Use a big ball if you want a big pom-pom and a small ball if you want to use a small pom-pom. I'm going to make pom-poms roughly this size. And what I'm going to do, put it on your paper and trace it twice. Now cut out this shape. When you have your two circles, you also have to make a circle in the middle. The bigger your circle, the fuller your pom-pom will be. The smaller the circle, the thinner your pom-pom will be. So make sure they're sort of the same size. And cut out the inner circle as well. So these two shapes will be your pom-pom maker. So choose your yarns you're going to use. I'm going to go for bright summery colours, but use any colours that go with your interior. Put your two cardboard shapes on top of each other and start wrapping the yarn around your shape. Push the wool through the hole and just simply start wrapping. Keep going until you have completely covered the ring. When you're happy with the yarn you wrapped around, you kind of cut it open. So on the side, you're going to put your scissors in and you're going to cut in between the two templates. Now your pom-pom is cut open, you're going to put a little bit of yarn in between the two circles. And you're going to knot it so all your yarn turns into a nice round pom-pom. Make it as tight as you can. When you're happy with that, you just peel your pom-pom away from the template. And I'd like to massage mine a little bit. Hold it up by the two long bits you have. And trim your pom-pom if it needs a little bit of extra shape. Don't trim the two long yarn bits away, because we're going to use this to attach a pom-pom to your basket. That's one pom-pom done. Now make the other ones in exactly the same way. As you can see, I use different kinds of yarn for my pom-poms. A wool makes for a really nice fluffy pom-pom. A cotton yarn makes for a bit more modern looking pom-pom. Now to attach the pom-pom, the long ends you left on your pom-pom, thread them through a needle and just simply push the needle through your basket. And go up and down a couple of times to make sure your pom-pom is nice and secure. Attach all your pom-poms in this way. When all your pom-poms are attached, just have another look. See if some need a little bit of a trim to be slightly more round. There you go, a summery decorated basket. Now I'm just curious what else I can decorate with pom-poms. You got any ideas? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Handmade Home brings you a new craft tutorial every Thursday. 